Welcome to a new video from Magerit. Today we are introducing Kairos, a master controller module for Eurorack systems. Kairos can generate all types of signals, melodies, rhythmic patterns, clocks, modulations, automations, LFOs, one volt per octave, everything you need to control your modular rig. It features a independent, fully configurable output, a playground of possibilities. One standout it is 240 pixel full color display. On the left side, there is a USB Type C input, perfect for MIDI from keyboards, DAWs, or something to external MIDI clocks. Next to it, a CV gate input lets you automate parameters per sequence or channel or even gauge sequences on and off. Kairos is divided into two main sections, the sequencer menu for crafting patterns and melodies, and the shape menu, where you define the waveform output per channel. You can switch between them using this button. Let's begin in the sequencer menu. The sequencer menu arranges each channel into concentric rings, each representing a sequence. Use the main encoder, press and rotate to select a channel. We are on channel 1. Now hit play. The sequence looks and behaves like a Euclidean pattern. You can adjust the step count, add or remove pulses, and rotate the sequence. Beyond that, you can break the Euclidean pattern entirely by freely adding pulses. Rotate the encoder to move the cursor and then click to insert. You can also select any step and change its rhythmic division, 8 notes, triplets, 16th notes, for more expressive timing. Edit individual steps, adjust volume or mute them. On the oscilloscope, a few clicks already produce very interesting rhythms. Each channel can be individually turned on or off. You can also change the ratio to speed things up or slow them down. And the sequence direction. Normal, reverse, ping pong or random. Full control. Tap the brain icon to access the automation settings. Here you can modulate parameters like ratio, direction, step count, pulses and more. For example, feeding an external LFO can dynamically change the number of pulses in a sequence. Let's hook it up. And you will see the step count updating live. Also, we can choose other behavior modes, generate a random value on its high pulse, generate a new value when the sequence loops, or respond to any channel waveform signal. We'll turn it off and exit the menu. Kairos offers 32 memory slots. Click Save to store your pattern. Let's save it in, in a slot 23. To recall a pattern, click load, select the slot, for example slot 1, and you are done. That wraps up everything from the sequencer menu. Next, let's explore some percussion patterns.
we switch to the shape menu by pressing the left button. Here we define the output signal type per channel. Kairos offers 11 waveform generators, including a MIDI output mode. MIDI is indicated by a green LED, while other outputs are shown with a red LED for positive signals and blue for negative. Clock signals appear in yellow. Each waveform has its own parameter displayed alongside its icon. There are also global parameters that apply to all generators. Let's review the basic shapes and their adjustable parameters. First, pulse, the square wave. You can easily modify the pulse width. Next, trapezoid. Open it toward a square shape or close it down to resemble a triangle. Then, triangle. Tilt it left or right to skew the symmetry. The same wave offers smooth modulation, and its parameter lets you adjust the curvature of the shape. Exponential is perfect for organic envelopes and modulations. Parameter sharpens the curve. With Bezier curves, you can draw the waveform point by point. Let's tweak the coordinates. Okay. Perfect. Cubic Bezier curves do the same with four contour points. Next, the classic random mode. This one generates random values at its pulse or rhythmic step of the sequence. You can adjust the generating rate using its parameter. Then, there's the random triangular mode. Here, the signal smoothly moves up and down between random values, like gliding between peaks. And if you enable jump mode, the signal tends to return toward a central reference, shown as the green line. You can adjust this reference point, and watch how the signal always drifts back toward it. Finally, Kairos can also generate the standard clock signals, quarter note pulses, sixteenth notes, or twenty-four pulses per quarter note, perfect for synthing with external gear. You can also choose from several truncation and polarity options. Let's switch to a sine wave so it's easier to see. Now, let's hold down the small encoder to reset the parameter to its default value. You can cut the negative part, cut the positive part, make negative values positive, make positive values negative, or invert the polarity entirely. This gives you deep control over the signal's character. We'll leave it in normal mode. All the remaining icons you will see from this point on apply to any waveform, no matter the type. The next global controls are phase and delay. You can shift the waveform's phase and, clicking the small encoder, adds a slight delay before the wave starts. With crossover, you can combine two channel waveforms like channel 1 with channel 2. You have multiple blend modes, mix, and, or, short, logical masks. This opens the door to extremely complex and creative outputs. To see everything in action, Kairos features a real-time oscilloscope. Hold the main encoder to activate it. If you want to adjust the oscilloscope speed, hold the play button to access the settings menu. Then, modify the ratio. We'll set it to x1 for a smaller view. Ok, then switch back to times 8. And we'll turn off the crossover. 
Next is volume and offset. You can increase the signal volume up to 200%. Okay, I will decrease it. Um, okay, ah, uh, let's switch back to same wave for clarity. And you can also tweak the offset to shift it into positive or negative ranges. We reset both back to default. Quantization is a powerful feature. I will lower the ratio to see it more clearly on the oscilloscope. Kairos can snap the output to over 30 musical scales. Ionia, Mixolydian, Flamenco, Pentatonic, and more. We'll select octaves, so the waveform jumps between octave values. You will see it look kind of pixelated on the scope. You can also set the root note, like G, B flat, D. This makes even chaotic shapes musical and useful. Finally, you can apply smoothing. With zero smoothing, the shape, like a triangle, is sharp. As you raise smoothing, it rounds the edges for a gentler curve. Just like in the sequencer, you can save any shape configuration to one of the 32 slots, or load previously shaped shapes. Kairos also supports a MIDI output mode. I'll disable the sequencer and select MIDI shape. Here you choose the MIDI channel. Let's select channel 1 for example. Ok? And here the output type. It can be node, gate, Trigger, Velocity Sensitive optionally, let's see gate, or control change. Now we want to set channel 7 to send one ball per octave to Laniakea. We'll make sure to put the channel in node mode. Now you can play melodies from a keyboard or external sequencer. That's not all, Kairo supports polyphony. In our setup, channels 4 and 5 are paired to a second Laniakea, giving us two voices. In this submenu we create polyphonic groups, each made up of a node gate or node trigger pair. In our case we are using two voices, that means two groups, one for each Laniakea. Play one note, one voice plays, add another without releasing the first, and Kairos handles the voicing automatically. There's also an arpeggiator, enable it, choose the direction, up, down, up, down, or random. Span octaves. Okay, let's move this and this. Okay. And set the arpeggio rate. The latch mode lets the arpeggio continue even after you release the notes. Finally, holding the play button enters the settings menu. Here you can change the global BPM. Okay. 
access the patches menu to load, copy or delete waveform and pattern slots. For example, let's copy this slot wave data to slot 1. You can also link channels so they share common parameters. For example, linking channel 4 as the master with channels 1 and 6 following its settings. And also, you can use the CV input to control play, stop, reset of the global sequencer. Hope this overview gave you a clear picture of how Kairos works, the master controller from Magiri, for full Eurorack control. See you in the next one, and thanks for watching!